welcome back to Yorson Homes. I'm Sonny Edwards. Um, and here we are in Popovo. Now this one probably won't suit most of you guys. It's more suited to um, the Bulgarian market or the investor market. A lot of you, if you're gonna watch this video, you're probably gonna think, what's this load of old rubbish Sonny's trying to sell us here for that sort of money? But you have to bear in mind, it's all about location. We're right in the heart of Popovo here. Prices in Popovo are going through the absolute roof at the moment. It's madness. You can't buy a two bedroom apartment for less than 60,000 euros here. And that's gonna need a load of work. Um, so this one here, it's 32,500 uh, lever. Okay, so that's, what's that? 16,000 euros or something. Um, they have just reduced it. It was on with another agent for 42. And I kind of said, mm, it's a bit much. It's a bit rough, this one. I know it's in a good location, but come on, let's be realistic. So they said, okay, Sonny, let's go on at 32,500 lever because they want it sold. Like I say, most of you know, it's not going to be for you. It's not a village house. It's not a beautiful place. It's about the location. Um, everyone loves to be right in the center of Popovo. It's, um, yeah, properties here are, 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 are much, much, much more more, more valuable um, than, than properties in the, uh, in the villages. So value for money, well, Yes, because of the location, actually, and beautiful views. I mean, this could be turned into a really nice Airbnb. You'd probably do very, very well here. Um, so value for money, yes, I prefer the villages. However, I can understand why people would be and what they want to be in a town, you know, if you, if you, uh, lots of reasons. Anyway, let's just show you this house and get on with it. Oh, stop the, stop the old jibber jabbering, Sonny, and just show us the bloody house, will you? So yeah, nice views, we've established that. Good views out there. Um, let's show, take you through and show you this house. We've got lots of rooms, dot, 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 on top of each other. Um, so this this was the kitchen, wasn't it? Look, there's a sink, it must have been. Um, yeah, it's a bit rough. The whole place needs a bit of renovating. Yeah, of course it does. At this price in Popovo, that's what's to be expected. Um, and actually I'm here because we've already had a couple of clients just come and look at it already, uh, Bulgarian family. So yes, the Bulgarians do like to be in the uh, in the town. Um, nice and convenient. You've got, you know, two minute walk and, and you've got it all there. Oh look, nice views here as well. And also, it, it, don't ask me why. Actually, no, I'm not certain. There's something downstairs that goes through. Not here, ignore me, don't worry, nothing to say. Um, so there it is. It's, it's it's a small little, it could become apartments, I guess, couldn't it, or something or other. Um, yeah, an Airbnb it would work. So you'd kind of go kitchen, lounge, bedroom. Oh, where would you, you'd need a bathroom as well, wouldn't you? Um, no, maybe you'd go kitchen, lounge, bath. I don't know, you'd make your own minds up, wouldn't you? This is a funny little room. It's kind of like a little office room. This could become your bathroom, couldn't it, I guess? Yeah, that would work. Or kitchen, you can do what you want with these houses. So, and then this is really weird down here. I don't know what on earth anyone would do. It. Actually, we've got a bathroom. Ignore me. Look, you've got one. It's just down here. It's a beauty. Uh, let me turn the torch on. It's not really a beauty. I'm a bit of a wind up merchant sometimes. But it's a toilet. What's in there? Not a shower. Uh, somewhere to put your wood. Um, it's a bit creepy down here. Uh, some sort of room in there. It looks like that goes out onto the road. Uh, what the hell's going on here? Actually, let's have a look. That takes you out to, oh no, beautiful views. Of course it's not the road. The road's on the other side. Silly me. Uh, so yeah, perfect for a family of dwarves could live down here. Um, it's a bit short. It's a bit squat, small. So another funny little room here. Um, this really is like something out of a horror movie. Um, and this worried me. He says, um, he says there's another room through there. They've bricked it up. Why? I don't know. How many bodies are in there? I, there's not really bodies in there. I don't know what's in there. There's another room, he said. Um, huh, yeah, I don't know. But there is. Come, come round and have a look. We'll knock one of them breeze blocks out and we'll see what's in there. I'm not looking on my own though. No way. Nope. Not doing it. All right. It's proper giving me the creeps down here. Let's get out of here. So yeah, good one for Fritzel down there. Nice little cellar. Um, small kids or dwarves would be perfect for them. So yeah, good view. There it is. That's all, really all you need to know. I guess we can show you out the side to front again. We're right here on this hill at Popovo, look. Um, that takes you down to where T Market is. Um, there's my chauffeur there. What's she doing waiting down there? 
Oh, are you? I'm up here. Hello? <whistles> Come on, you. What are you doing? You're in the wrong house. I'm up here. Come on, has she seen me? What's she doing down there, the nutter? <whistles> Woo! Come on up. That's it. She's seen me now. Here she comes. There's my ride. Got my chauffeur on it today. Oh!